Hey pickleballers, today we're going to talk about the slice backhand return. We're going to talk a little bit about return technique in general, what your tactics should be, and if you're a 1E coming over from tennis like I am, then you probably have a pretty decent slice. That's a big advantage in this game, because if you can really knife the slice and keep it deep, then your opponent has to hit up and it's a difficult pass. So we're going to talk about a few ways to use that backhand slice technique, knife it really deep, and then also the drive. Okay, so let's talk about the backhand slice technique a little bit. This is probably the closest shot to tennis that exists in pickleball. You're gonna hitch, hinge that wrist slightly, kind of like we discussed for the dink, and then your shoulder does almost everything. There's maybe a slight bend in your elbow, but what we're really looking for is we're looking for transition from our body weight, which comes from our feet. There's a timing, and then we lean into that ball, and we do not use our wrist much. We're not flopping the wrist, we're not snapping it. That creates too many variables. We just want a solid contact. So if you watch my wrist here, or my shoulder, it just hinges through that ball. Now notice where my weight ends up. I'm ending up on my right leg. Now once this is in real time, I'm gonna move through this ball. So now it becomes timing and moving through with the exact same movement, just using my shoulder. So it's a nice little, almost like a tiny little banana shape, and we're hinging and moving right through it. 